Around 1887 to 1878 BC, Middle Kingdom, pectoral and necklace with Sinwazrit II's name. At the time of the record, 2022, this necklace is housed at the Metropolitan Museum. This spectral is built on King Sinwazrit II's throne name. It was discovered with Princess Sithothar Unit's jewelry in a unique niche of her underground tomb, next to Sinwazrit II's pyramid. The pattern is made up of hieroglyphic symbols, and the whole thing can be read as. The deity of the rising sun gives life and rule over everything the sun encircles, to King Sinwazrit II for eternity. 372 precisely cut semi-precious stone pieces are inlaid in this cloisonne pectoral. There are many symbolic elements in the heraldic design. The base bar zigzag lines stand in for the primordial seas from whence the primordial hill formed. Each of the sun god's falcons, representing him, is holding a circled hieroglyph that means encircled, signifying his supreme authority over the cosmos. The throne named Sinwazrit II is surrounded by the same hieroglyph that has been lengthened to form a cartouche. Two ink hieroglyphs, which stand for, life, flank the king's name and are strung from cobras with their tails wrapped around the sun disc on the falcon's heads. These snakes stand in for Nekbet and Ujo, the king's traditional protective deities. The king, rather than the princess, is named in the design since it was actually he who benefited from the magical abilities contained in the jewelry worn by the female members of his family. Scholars believe she was Sinwazrit's daughter because the princess tomb lay next to his pyramid. The princess may have lived throughout the eras of Sinwazrit II, Sinwazrit III, and Amenemhat III, three of Dynasty XII's most powerful kings. As evidenced by other artifacts bearing the name of Amenemhat III found in the tomb. The deity, Hay, who is seated and holding two palm ribs to represent, millions of years, is holding up the royal cartouche. The king's life and existence in time are therefore depicted as being a part of a cosmos that the Supreme Sun deity created and maintains. In addition to serving as an ornament and a sign of status, the jewelry worn by royal ladies during the Middle Kingdom served as a representation of ideas and stories related to ancient Egyptian royalty. A royal woman's superhuman abilities were enhanced through jewelry, allowing her to assist the monarch in maintaining divine order on earth.